21 to nothing Elk Grove. Elk Grove fans pretty pumped about that. 2.47 left in the first half. Jason scores it. The JFK quarterback goes for 11 yards. The final is 29 to 19 in favor of Elk Grove. The game was called in the third quarter because of a massive fight, which is unusual. But anyway, Elk Grove wins 29-19. Other finals. Vacaville. Etc. I'd rather, uh, you know, face another ball club than face those two guys, but uh, they're here and I'm going to be here tomorrow. We'll see what happens. For about 2 p.m., the Sacramento area blacked out for the live NBC feed of the fight. We'll show it Sunday at midnight following Channel 3's Sports Sunday. Our high school football game of the night, Elk Grove in the dark blue jerseys hosting Woodland. Number 25, Jason McDonald of Elk Grove with the nice interception. And look at the moves. This guy also scored two touchdowns on the offensive end. Second quarter, Elk Grove's number 21, James Kidd. 32-yard touchdown run that makes it 21 to nothing, Elk Grove. Number 27, Gary Harmer with a three-yard touchdown run. Your final is 49 to 14 in favor of Elk Grove. Other scores, top-ranked Nevada Union beats San Juan. Grant by one over Casa Roble. Jesuit loses to El Dorado. Oakmont by two over Miraloma. Roseville blows out Rio. 37-35, David. Omira. Offensive explosion in Elk Grove tonight. The second-ranked Herd hosting the Honkers of Yuba City. Ken Williams to Jason McDonald for Elk Grove. Great moves here by McDonald for the touchdown. It's 20-7 to in the first quarter. Later in the second quarter, Yuba City kicking off after scoring a touchdown. Watch the return here by James Kidd. Explosive speed up the middle. 83 yards for the touchdown to put the Thundering Herd up on top by 27-13. to Then, late in the first half, Yuba City quarterback Mario Carrion showing a strong arm tonight. Completes the touchdown pass to a sliding Robert Fitzgerald and makes it 42-27 at halftime. Out Grove goes on to win the game 77 oh, to 35. Herd. The herd is undefeated. Whoa. Thundering herd is a great name for them. Yeah. Listen, when we come back, we're going to visit a plantation of jack-o'-lanterns. 70 acres of pumpkins in the raw, just ready to make a face for Halloween. The O'Brons of tomorrow. A lot is on the line this weekend in local high school football as Elk Grove faces Valley on Saturday. 13 Sports' John Hank spent the day with the second-ranked Thundering Herd. <laughs> well, look out, because here comes the Thundering Herd. 147 reverse on one. Hold on, ready? Imagine a high school team unbeaten in eight, averaging 45 points a game. Well, imagine no more. That's the thundering herd. We can do more than just run the ball. Yeah. Uh, almost a thousand yards, well, over a thousand yards passing, and uh, that's that says something when you have a team that's also got 2,400 yards rushing. Well, let's show you what the coach is talking about. Begin with a quarterback. If he must, Kenny Williams can run. Major plus right there. However, using the wing T formation, Williams running is merely a bonus. Oh, I like to run, but you know, those options aren't. I don't have that many options to run. You know, we've got three great backs. Oh, yeah, those backs. Like number 21, James Kidd. Great outlet guy. A sophomore with over 700 yards. Also, senior wingback Jason McDonald. And above all, senior fullback Gary Harmer, who has rushed for 972 yards. Okay, if versatility is a cliche, then Elk Grove is a talented cliche team that has yet to lose. You know, if they stop our passing, we'll run the game. If we stop running, we got, you know, we got the receiving, so it's just, we got double attack on kind of both, you know. That herd defense, well, it's been scored on. However, they've given up an average of only 12 points in the eight games played. And that intensity, that edge you notice in practice this week, well. With Valley's uh, upset victory over Davis last week, mm -hmm. this game is going to be uh, for all the marbles. You're going after your first Delta League title, right? Yeah, the first one in... Elk Grove history, yeah. With the thundering herd in Elk Grove, John Hanks, KOBR, 13 Sports. A good-looking team. NBA opening night comes tomorrow at Portland for the Sacramento Kings. The team enters the season with... The Queen, $299. The King... Thank you. Elk <laughs> Grove. But McClatchy trying to get back into it. It's Tony Whitehead to Malcolm Sebron, and it looked like it might be a game. 
but no way. Elk Grove ran all over McClatchy in this one. The halftime score, 42 to 7. The final score, 61 to 25. Elk Grove, Dave Longweir to Willie Tate. Thunder and Herd looks tough. And a big junior college game tonight as well between ARC and... Incentive tonight. They were notified today they had forfeited eight games because they used an ineligible player. But the way Elk Grove is playing this season, it probably wouldn't have mattered. The second-ranked Thundering Herd hosting number three, McClatchy. Second quarter action here. Watch your run by number 25, Jason McDonald. Some major league moves as he picks up 25 yards, sets up an Elk Grove touchdown. Gary Harmer for eight yards to put the Herd up 28-7. to seven. Next play, quarterback David uh, Gongward to Willie Tate, 37 yards and a touchdown. Heard with a 42-7 lead at halftime on their way to a 61-25 victory. Elk Grove unbeaten approaching the playoffs, which get underway next week. Junior college battle of Giants history. You'll find it. Looks like college basketball, doesn't it? Lou Carnesecca and St. John's. They beat North Carolina A&T tonight, 57-40. The Red Men here off the break. And Billy, tell you what, if today I had to pick a team to win the section championship, I think I would grow with Elk Grove. These guys look pretty good. Of course, Nevada Union's good and a couple other teams as well. But the herd looks tough. Full dress practice tonight. They open at home tomorrow night against El Camino. We have to start over. We're 0-0 zero zero just like... Uh... 15 other teams, and we're going into the, uh, what I consider one of the toughest playoff brackets that I've seen since I've been here. Yeah, well, we don't we don't really look at the rankings. We just take each game one by one. We're just trying to get past El Camino because we know if we don't get past them, no more games after that. So, the herd made it through the regular season unbeaten in 10 games and scored 61 points against McClatchy in this game last Friday night. They have to rate as one of the favorites, if not the favorite, even though they won't admit it. Coach and Buddy stresses that we take one game at a time and we never, like, move it, like, think ahead. But I think everyone's attitudes really every day just go with the day and that's it. I was out at Arco Arena tonight for that Kings game against the Knicks, and you wouldn't believe how many people came up to me and said, hey, thanks for the hockey scores every night. So here you go. One person. But it's better than nobody. No. no. Big game. Elk Grove coach. Ed Lombardi just called. He said, we may have lost the sight of the game, but our ticket sales are going nuts. They have sold 4,200 seats to Nevada Union's 1,100. So Elk Grove fans needn't be concerned because it looks like you'll be well represented. And hey, Nevada Union, better buy some tickets. While it's not enough excitement, we have the top two teams in the area playing Friday night, but they had to stir the pot up even more by making us wait to see just where the game would be played. Number one Nevada Union will take on Elk Grove at 7.30 Friday night at Woodland High School. Game time still 7.30. Woodland seats about 8,000. They will accommodate all the fans that want to see this game. An extra 2,000 seats now available for this site that weren't to be had if the game would have been at Elk Grove. You follow me so far? It's sweet of the folks at Elk Grove to move the game for the fans, but it's not easy to give up the home field advantage, especially when you're playing a monster number one team like Nevada Union. No matter where the site, this will be a great ball game. It's, it's the game of the season. It's the last time that uh, two Sacramento teams have played undefeated in the playoffs has been 1978. So it's, it's a big game. It's a good community game as well as a good game for both schools. Tonight, our popular announcement of the Channel 3 Athlete of the Week, Creighton Sanders looks over miles of videotape and statistics to come up with a legitimate, bona fide weekly champion whom we take pride in recognizing. His story on this week's winner and what a ball game he had last Friday night it comes your way at 6.30. Now, Stan just said something. Evidently, I've confused Stan about what I said. The game is at Woodland High School Friday night at 7.30. It originally was set for Elk Grove, so Elk Grove has lost their home site, and the game will now be at Woodland. Got it. Okay, thank you. The Kings have just arrived in Oakland, where they find themselves at 10. This is a game of a lifetime. You don't get many like this, and uh, we just can't wait. It's a case of the irresistible force and the immovable object. Elk Grove and Nevada Union have been on a collision course for two and a half months. 
like the old commercial saying goes, when you're number two, you try harder. And ever since week number two of the prep football season, Elk Grove has been ranked right behind number one, Nevada Union. This is uh, something that coaches dream about, an undefeated season and then meeting another undefeated team in, in a playoff game. This is, uh, this is what it's all about. So what about the matchup? Well, the Elk Grove offense is perhaps the best in the state. They've scored 524 points so far this season. We got James, Jason, and me. It's just threats from all sides of the ball. All left side, right side, middle of the, middle of the offense, we got threats from all. Gary's right. If the Nevada Union defense zeroes in on him, then James Kidd could break one. And if James gets too much attention, then the Miners will have to beware of sophomore Jason McDonald. Of course, none of the backs would find daylight without some help up front. Yeah, our line does a real good job. You know, they just make the holes real big for us, so it makes it easier on us because they just blow away our, our opponents. That's not likely Friday night. Whoever wins, it should be close. I think it's going to be a horse race. Now, of course, defensive uh, coaches on both teams are, are turning over at night thinking about what the offensive coaches are saying, but it's going to be an exciting game. We shall see Friday night. Dan Elliott, News 10 Sports. So many ticket requests. They're moving the game to Woodland on Friday, and we'll have a preview of Nevada Union coming up tomorrow. Okay, Stuart, thank you. And That's thanks for joining us for News 10 at 6. Our abbreviated newscast, but we hope you'll join Rank meets number two Elk Grove, and they finally found a place to seat 7,000 fans. Creighton Sanders now on the football trails with info and the Channel 3 Athlete of the Week. Week after week, an Elk Grove High School football player comes up with a sparkling performance. If it isn't Jason McDonald or James Kidd, it's fullback Gary Harmer. Against El Camino last Friday, Harmer broke loose for 213 yards and three touchdowns. His longest, 56 yards. He now has 1,317 rushing yards this season. Harmer found the going tough early against the Eagles, but finally wore them down. Uh, the hole started opening, and we, got, we, we started getting more concerned about the offense. We started scoring. We started just, everybody started getting pumped up as the offense progressed on running, passing, blocking. We just got all more pumped up, and we just started going out there. We were looking at film last night, and uh, we were grading it with the players, and his ability to hit the hole and, and accelerate after he hit the hole was really, really outstanding. Now, the herd faces number one ranked Nevada Union for the North Section Championship, and it won't take much to get up for that game. That's it, just number two and number one going at it. This, is, this game is just for all the, all the marbles. <laughs> Every coach dreams about, you know, you, you, you lay home uh, in the off season, you sit around, you watch the Super Bowl, you watch all the big games, and you say, someday we're going to have the opportunity on high school level to have a big game. Elk Grove gave up the home field advantage to allow more people to watch the game. It will be played in Woodland on Friday night at 7.30, and about 2,000 tickets are now available.
Do you really want to live? 